So Jamie Foxx is breaking his silence now, finally, the first time in several months since the mystery illness that left him hospitalized. And rumors were, you know, running rampant about what could it be. There were, you know, some saying that it was a stroke, even that, you know, he had suffered uh, partial paralysis, even blindness because of it. You know, Mike Tyson talked about it on a podcast and kind of let the cat out of the bag several weeks ago uh, when he, had, for the first time, had mentioned that uh, Fox had suffered a stroke. And then more recently, we saw Jamie Fox. He was out and about. I mean, he was going down the Chicago River waving to fans and seemingly looked okay. Uh, he was even at uh, out at Top Golf. Uh, he seemed to be walking okay and everything. So, you know, but no public statement was made until now. So what's the story? We're going to dive in and discuss in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today. Reminding you, as always, we walk by faith, not by sight. And hey, for someone like me, that's all I can do. Do me a huge favor as well. Hit that like button. It really helps us in the algorithms getting these videos out to more people. Share the video as well across all your platforms. Hit that bell. Subscribe. Yes, wear the glasses because I'm blind, not because I'm trying to make a fashion statement of any kind. And also, if you guys could consider donating here to my ministry to help support what I do, a couple of ways you could do that. One, simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That is how you can tip me with a one-time donation. You can select any amount you want right here from the main video page. Really easy to do. Or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link there in the description. And when you guys sign up to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You can also comment censorship free on all videos and send me direct messages plus you're actually going to get alerted for all the content because you can't rely on the yt notifications for that so um again big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so thank you as well your generosity is greatly appreciated now if we go back to how this whole jamie fox thing first started he was on the set of a movie with cameron diaz and all of a sudden medical emergency jamie fox rushed to the hospital nobody would say what it was his family, you know, would not release any information about this, just said that he had suffered something that was very serious. Uh, they asked everybody to, you know, to pray, keep him in your thoughts and all that good stuff. And then as the weeks went on, we started to hear a little bit more chatter, specifically from Mike Tyson, who was on Patrick Bet David's podcast. And Tyson had kind of slipped up here. I don't think he was supposed to reveal this. Uh, by telling David that, in fact, Jamie Foxx had had a stroke. He said that Foxx isn't feeling well. And, and a lot of this, too, had to do with the fact that Jamie Foxx was apparently supposed to play Mike Tyson uh, in an upcoming movie. And Mike Tyson has said, you know, he does a great impression of me and everything. And this is the first time that we had actually heard public comments from another celebrity about Foxx's condition. And again, Tyson saying that he had a stroke. A couple of weeks later, on Dr. Drew's podcast, he had a Hollywood reporter on there, A.J. Benza, who said that he received exclusive information. A source apparently within the family, now we don't know that for sure, this is according to him, but that, in fact, Jamie Foxx did suffer a stroke. But more than that, it was due to the fact that there was a blood clot on his brain. And AJ's saying that this was because Jamie took the vax. But he said that Jamie did not want to. He never wanted to take it. But in order for him to do that new movie with Cameron Diaz, well, he would be forced to do it. So one of those situations there, the good old forced vaxy vax, right? And so because of that, as AJ continued to tell Dr. Drew here, that blood clot on the brain had led to a stroke, had led to the partial paralysis and the blindness. So the two of them continued to talk about that for a while. And then in the weeks that came after that, Jamie Foxx was spotted for the first time in public. Didn't release a statement, but again, as I mentioned, he was going down the Chicago River and then he was spotted at Top Golf, but he seemed to be walking around okay. And didn't seem to be blind in any way at all. 
And let's also not forget that, you know, after the whole medical emergency thing first started, he was spotted uh, at a certain rehab facility that specializes in uh, stroke victims. So that was very telling. So after all of that, we now have Jamie Foxx for the first time on Friday, July 21st. He went onto his Instagram and he did a video and he informed fans about what's going on. First and foremost, he said he thanked everybody for their prayers, for his concerns. He said that it's been a rough road. He says, I want to address some of the rumors and speculation that are going on out there right now about my health. He says, I have heard about the paralysis. I've heard about the blindness. He goes, and you know, as you can see, he goes, the eyes are working okay. As far as the paralysis goes, he said, I'm moving around just fine. He said, I went through something that I never thought that I would go through. And he said, I had some potholes in my recovery. It was not something that I, you know, you know, had asked for. But he says, at this time, I want to keep the details of my exact condition to myself. He said that he wants fans to remember him not for his sickness, but for his comedy, his entertainment, all of that. He also thanked his family for, and this is his words, this is interesting, thanks his family for protecting him throughout this entire process, not letting the cat out of the bag. Well, it kind of came out of the bag already a little bit, didn't it? What are, what are they protecting you from? See, this is why I don't understand. Because it just seems so obvious now. Now that we hear it from Jamie Foxx himself. You know, protecting me and not telling the public what I really have. Why are you so afraid to tell the public what you have? Why? Because, you know, they could even make something up, even if they don't want to tie it into the vax. Okay, fine. You can make something up and the majority of people are going to believe you. Anyway, you can say anything. But when you're silent about it, when you try to sweep it under the rug, you look very guilty when you do that. And then the obvious comes up, the vax. Because what's the one thing no one wants to talk about? It's that, right? Especially if you are an entertainer in Hollywood. Because when you work with all these different, you know, producers and, 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 and other outlets within Hollywood, you know, that's the one thing. They never want you to talk about that at all because they don't want to be exposed. The last thing that Jamie Foxx is going to do is come out on an Instagram video and tell everybody that, yes, in fact, I was told that if I don't get this thing, I can't be on this movie. And this is what most likely led to my health issues. He's not going to say that. He should. He should be brave enough to do it, but he's apparently not. Now, you look at Jamie Foxx and compare him to Ice Cube, okay? I talked about Ice Cube before. I mean, this, this story's been going around now for a, quite a while. In a, in a similar situation, he was supposed to do a movie with Jack Black. And I talked about this on other videos. But for those that don't know, Ice Cube was offered $9 million something to do this movie with Jack Black. But in the same, same case here, he would have to take the vax if he wanted to be a part of the movie. Ice Cube said no. He said Health is the most important thing. He said, health over wealth. That is so true. For him to come out and say that he's done interviews too, he's, he's gone around and, and he's talked about this and he's not ashamed. Good for him. At least he has the guts to say like, I don't let you give me that thing. He's like, he's like okay. And, and he goes, for those that say I lost $9 million, he goes, no, I didn't lose anything. He goes, that $9 million was never mine to begin with. It was only going to be mine if I agreed to the terms that they had in order for me to, you know, receive it. He goes, I didn't get $9 million taken out of my bank account. It was never there to begin with. He was so right about that. But in the case of Jamie Foxx, it appears as though wealth was over health in that situation. Because again, when you say you don't want to talk about it, I just want fans to remember me for my entertainment. <laughs> People would have a lot more respect because here's the thing. If he were to come out and actually admit the truth, this would help others to maybe not make the same mistake that he did. And there are a lot of people out there that have regret of taking it. And they've actually tried to encourage others to not make their same mistakes. They're trying to make it make a difference. Trying to do something right. Trying to turn a negative into a positive. You know, I didn't make the right choice, but maybe I can stop somebody else from doing what I did. But that's not the road that Jamie Foxx is taking. 
and I for one am not surprised. What about you? You guys can chime in down below and let me know your thoughts about the Jamie Foxx situation. Uh, what I want to do right now though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, of course, keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back in your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, I'll have more information on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link there in the description. Remember, when you sign up to Patreon, you get exclusive early access to these videos before they ever hit the main YouTube channel. You'll also be alerted for all the content, which does not happen with the YT notifications. Or you can simply click that super thanks button down below on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk with you soon.